from Kaplan Cycles in the New England Motorcycle Museum. And just got back from a ride on this BMW R65. It's a 1981. Uh, fantastic machine. It's set up in the cafe style with the Magura low bars. Uh, it has the mag wheels front and rear. Uh, traditional, beautiful BMW uh, black paint job. And uh, has the uh, triple disc brakes drilled calipers front and rear. Uh, actually, the rear is a drum because it's a shaft drive, and uh, but the triple disc, dual discs on the front work amazingly well. Uh, suspension handles great. It's got the aftermarket shocks on there, which give you a little bit more suspension travel on the rear. The original exhaust system uh, appears to be in excellent condition. Uh, this was owned by a BMW mechanic, so it came to us. Uh, the guy was a 30-year BMW master mechanic, and. Uh, from Canton BMW. He retired and, and uh, this was a bike that he had done a bunch of work on. It's got, uh, I got the list inside. I'll go over with you inside exactly what was done on the bike. But before I do that, I'll give you a quick demo on it, ride it, bring it in, and then uh, I'll tell you all about the mechanicals of the bike. It's a low mileage bike, only has 36,000 miles. Uh, fires right up. Fires like a kitten. This is an, this is an exhaust note on this thing. Idles perfectly. Carbureted perfectly. This guy was a master mechanic. He knew what he was doing. Bike runs fantastic. Very good handling bike. Um, fast, smooth. This is an all-day bike. Even though it has the low bars on it, it uh, has a nice feel where. Uh, it has a long saddle on it, so you can move around and find a spot that's comfortable. Uh, front brake, front two up. Yeah, it rides two up, obviously. Uh, Kenny on the back. Big, big long saddle. Let me get taken for a quick rip. BMWs are notoriously reliable and will run hundreds of thousands of miles of minimum maintenance and if you ever have to do any work on them, they're super easy to work on. Um, this bike's ready to rumble. Uh, shaft drive, uh, it's a fantastic machine. Hop on and uh, Kenny and we'll go up in the showroom and I'll go over the work order and explain everything that's been done to the bike.
you know, thing uh, right there. At the top of the stairs as usual. Thing curves like a kitten. Nice quiet but nice exhaust note. Brake light works beautifully. Cycles and the New England Motorcycle Museum, and today I'm uh, proud to represent this BMW R65. It's a fantastic machine. I took it for a nice long ride and absolutely loved it. Uh, this bike was just completely serviced by a veteran mechanic, a uh, master BMW mechanic at Canton Cycles, and I'll tell you everything that, that, that he had done to the bike, um, starting with the starter. It has a brand new starter on it, not just a parts and a uh, starter or a starter cylinder, the complete replacement brand new starter was put on the bike. It's about a $400 part. Um, the complete fuel system, the tank was clean, the petcock was clean, brand new fuel line was, was installed, both carburetors removed clean in an ultrasonic carb cleaning tank, the float bowls are spotless, I took them off and, ch and checked them, uh, the jets were clean, the air filter and air box were taken off clean and a new air filter was installed, um, and a brand new battery uh, was put in the motorcycle. So uh, quite a bit of service was done uh, uh, on the bike, including all the fluids were flushed. The front brake fluid was drained and flushed and bled. The rear brake fluid was drained and flushed and bled. The rear drive hypoid oil was replaced. The mid drive hypoid oil was replaced. The tranny oil was, was replaced and the engine oil and filter were replaced. Matter of fact, he did the engine oil when I was at his house. He has a full service shop at his house and uh, He's an older guy, um, in his late 60s, he's a master mechanic, and I watched him change this, the filter and the oil, and he described everything that had been done to the bike, and I took it for a test ride, and just a fantastic machine. It's a uh, fairly low mileage bike, 36,000 miles. Um, the frame has been uh, repainted, uh, an in-frame cleanup in, in uh, paint to do some rust preventative, preventative measures, because when the paint starts peeling, they start getting surface rust on the frame, so uh, the suspension, was upgraded to these high performance shocks. Um, it has a cat based style bars. And I think uh, based on what you saw in the video, you see the, you know, the bike's a great handling, great riding bike. Um, the tires, uh, the tread on the tires is 90% um, on the front, but there is some dry riding on the side. So, um, you know, if you, if you wanted to, uh, might be a good idea to throw a set of new tires on, the, on it, even though the tread's 90% and that's slurs. Um, I rode it and I was doing 70 miles an hour. I wasn't worried about it, but uh, the rear also has a little bit of dry riding on it. The rear has about 50% tread left, so you can see the dry riding on the tires. You might want to put a new set of tires on it. Um, the uh, exhaust system is in great shape. Uh, the um, gas tank, I believe, is the original paint and it's nice and shiny. It shows well. There is a couple issues with the seat. There's some um, tape, uh, taped up areas where there was a rip in the seat. And there's a little tiny uh, spot in the back here and one on the side. This is the original 1981 seat cover. So it's 36, uh, 36 years old. So a new seat cover might be in order. Uh, the tack and speedo are, look to be in excellent condition. All the electrical functions, I think I demoed when I was riding it. The turn signals, horn, high low beam, passing lights, everything, everything's excellent on this bike. Uh, just a good overall uh, around uh, condition of this bike it has a steering stabilizer on the fork so with that on the front and the heavy-duty shocks on the back this thing really rides and handles quite nicely uh, very sporty ride cafe style bike um, the NADA number one retail on this bike is forty three hundred thirty dollars the number two price on this is twenty six hundred um, this bike is somewhere in between those I'm sure in value and we're gonna auction it off with a low reserve and let the uh, eBay uh, auction process to determine the final value of it. So if you have any questions on the bike, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Um, if you'd like to come look at the bike, we're open Monday to Friday, 9 to 6. Um, don't know what else, what else to say about it other than it's a smooth, comfortable, fast, awesome, classic BMW, 36-year-old 30, 30, classic BMW with the air-cooled boxer engine. So we're only going up in value.
So I'm gonna roll her back in the showroom, let everybody ogle her until uh, finds a new home. And um, hopefully you'll have a great season of riding on this bike when you get it. So good luck bidding on it. God bless America.